We're here with four Kirtland Hornets after they defeated Beachwood tonight, 52 to six. From left to right, we have sophomore Jack Lussick and three seniors, uh, Tommy Goglin, George Prusak III, and Bobby Whitaker. I'm just gonna go right down the order. Jack, this was your first touchdown of the season and your second touchdown ever. How did it feel crossing the goal line tonight? Uh, it was great, I was excited once. I thought they called me down at the one. I was going to be so disappointed, but they ended up calling it a touchdown. Tommy, you scored two of your own tonight. Very fitting. You're wearing the number two, just as you wore uh, last year. Um, how did it feel? I, I know you didn't score the previous two games, but I know you seniors are all about leadership and the team comes first. How did it feel to finally uh, get in the end zone column tonight? It's awesome, but I mean, these guys are putting in work too. I mean, Everybody's doing their part. We're just making blocks out on the edge. Everybody's doing their job. It's awesome, but it's, it's awesome to celebrate with the boys, too. George, you know what I'm going to ask? Have you ever heard of William the Refrigerator Perry? I have, yes. OK. Uh, that, that helps me with this next question. Um, was that planned this week? Uh, obviously, for those that don't know, he got put in. George is an offensive lineman, two-time All-State. Got the chance to go in the backfield tonight and score from a few yards out. Was that planned? How did it feel to score? I was asking him during the week if I could go out there and maybe score a touchdown later in the season. But, I mean, the time was right, and I just felt like I could get in the end zone. And then all the, guy, all the guys up front were excited for me, and they blocked for me, and I just got in the end zone. And Bobby, you didn't score a touchdown tonight, but... I wanted to talk to you because this was your uh, first game back. You came back kind of early, and I know you said you uh, kind of got more playing time than you thought you were going to. Uh, just talk about the process of, I know you got hurt in last year's state title game, and the whole recovery process, about eight months or so. What was that like, and how did you feel back on the field tonight? Yeah, I mean, when I went down, it was rough. It was a, it was a long eight months, but all my teammates were super supportive. The coaches were supportive. I had Danny injured with me for a while, Danny Alfieri. We were doing some workouts together, and then Julie Prusak, I was with her every day, and she's, she's the best. She's why I'm here right now. And I'll focus on, on you three for right now. Uh, next week, you start conference play. Uh, you're going to be facing West Geauga, and really the, the slate of opponents. You got some tough guys uh, down the stretch in the season. What's it going to take to finish the season, the regular season, at least how you want? The little things, I think. I mean, we, I mean, the scores. It says 52 to six up there, but we didn't, we didn't play our best game. And I mean, we have, we have little things that we need to fix. We had a lot of missed tackles on defense. The offensive line is still not even close to where we can be. I, it's the little things that we got to get right to have our ultimate goal at the end. And I think staying together as one team, being cohesive, continuing leadership, I think it's very important. We got some we got some good teams on the schedule coming up, so we gotta be on our A game and practice hard every single week.